What's good y'all, it's your boy Chef Tariq. We're back with another episode. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my meal prep items. We are making salmon with broccoli and sweet potatoes. Let's get right into it. Wow. All right, so I already got my sweet potatoes cut up and I got my broccoli put on the board right now. I'll show you guys how to cut the broccoli. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut my broccoli into florets. Always remember to wash your vegetables just to get the dirt off of that. And then we're going to season it. After you got your broccoli florets cut, we're going to go ahead and put it on our tray. And we're going to get these seasoned and put them in the oven. Also, you can't forget your sweet potatoes. We're just going to take a handful and put it on our tray as well. We're going to season these, put a little oil on them. Get those in the oven as well. Now we're going to season our vegetables with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. We want to watch how much salt and pepper we're putting on because we don't want to over season them. After we got our seasonings on, we're going to add a little bit of olive oil to our sweet potatoes and broccoli. We're going to mix them in just to make sure the seasonings and oil is incorporated onto both sides. And after that, we're going to pop these right into the oven. We're going to put our vegetables into the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now we're going to take our salmon up and there goes the phone and sweet potatoes. Well, let's start that one over. Okay, now we're gonna take our salmon. We're gonna place it on the cutting board and we're gonna take it out of the wrapper. We're just gonna lay it flat onto our cutting board and get ready to fillet it. Next, we're going to take our paper towel. We're just going to wipe the front and the back of our salmon just to make sure it's not too oily. If your salmon does have a weird or odor smell or too oily, that means your salmon is no good and you should throw it out before cooking it. Next, we're just going to take the back of our knife and check to see if there are scales on our fish. If there are no scales, we can go ahead and start. But if there are scales, we're just going to scrape them off and just wipe them down. Next, we're just going to trim our salmon just so we have even pieces. As you can see, I'm struggling. Make sure you always have a knife that is sharp. Now we're going to take our fish and we're just going to cut them into portions. They should be about five to eight ounces. If you have a scale, I advise to use a scale, but if you're good at eyeballing it, go ahead and eyeball it out. Again, I advise you have a sharp knife. As you can see, I didn't cut this one all the way through. So make sure you have a sharp knife with you. But once you cut your fish into portions, you're going to put it into another container with a paper towel or deli sheet. And if you're going to put them in the fridge, put them in the fridge right away or go ahead and start cooking. Them. Next, we're going to turn on our flame and put some oil in our pan just to start to heat up. And always remember to clean up our station, especially when we're working with fish or other proteins. We wanna make sure we have a clean and sanitized station. Now we're going to season our fish with some salt and some pepper. We don't have to over season it because fish are delicate. So just add as much as you can, just to not over season it. Now we're going to add our salmon into our pan. You see the nice sizzle, that means our pan is nice and hot. We wanna have a crispy skin, so we're going to put skin side down. That's also going to be our presenting side. So that's why you put the skin side down first. We'll also press it down just a little bit and we'll let the skin cook. Now we're just going to flip over our salmon. If you have a fish spatula, I would advise to use that. If you don't, that is okay as well. I don't have mine, that's fine. But you can see uh, we have a crispy skin already. It looks so good right now. But we're gonna go ahead and put that into our oven. 
for about five minutes. So the next step we're gonna do is we're going to make our Blanc sauce. We're gonna start off with our shallot. We're just gonna cut this in half and peel off the outside. And then we're gonna go ahead and julienne our shallots. And now we're just going to julienne our shallots. Like I said earlier, always have a sharp knife so you have some good knife cuts when you're cutting vegetables. Just gonna cut the ends off, just julienne our shallots. We wanna get these in our pan to start sweating. Now we're going to put our shallots into our pot, which is already turned on with a little bit of oil. We're just going to let our shallots sweat just for about two to three minutes. Now when we are sweating our vegetables, we don't want them to be brown, so that's why we have a medium to low heat. We're just going to cook them until they're just a little bit translucent and a little bit of clear. And we're just going to continue just to give it a little stir, just so they don't brown or get any color on them. After we let our vegetables sweat just for a few minutes, we added our white wine. Just Once we added our white wine, we're going to add in our heavy cream. You can add in light cream as well. We're just going to let our cream come to a boil and we're just going to make sure our cream does not burn at the bottom. So that's why we're going to continue to stir it. As our sauce is working, we're just going to take out our sandwich from the oven, put it on top of the stove with no heat on. We're just going to flip it over. You see we have a great skin and a beautiful color on the other side. We're just gonna let this to rest until our vegetables and our sauce is ready, and then we'll plate it up. As our sauce is coming to a boil, we're gonna turn down our heat and give it a stir just to make sure it's not burning. We're also gonna season it with some salt and some lemon juice, give it more flavor. And we're gonna turn it down and just let it come to a simmer. Now we're gonna add in a few cubes of butter into our sauce. We're just gonna stir this in to let it thicken up. And we're gonna also taste it just to make sure our seasoning is correct and it's not over salty. Now we're gonna take out our vegetables. We're just going to check to see if they are done. Also remember to taste your food just to make sure everything is cooked all the way through. Now we're ready to plate. Now we're going to lay our trays out. We're gonna go ahead and portion our broccoli into each tray. You wanna to remember to always portion it out evenly so our customers have the right amount of broccoli in each one. They don't feel cheated. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our sweet potatoes. We're going to portion it out in each one equally. If you do have some left over, you can go ahead and just sprinkle some into each container just to make sure you have no more leftovers and our customers have enough to eat. Now we're going to take our salmon and place it into each container. We're going to show the skin side up as our presentation side. That skin just looks beautiful. It is shiny in that container, guys. We're going to put our Blanc sauce into small black containers instead of putting it onto our salmon already so customers can do that themselves if they would like it. We're going to have one black container into each one and that will be their Now we're just going to place a container in each one and guys this is our presentation. We have our salmon, our sweet potatoes, our broccoli, and our Blanc sauce. This looks very good. If you guys like to order it, please put your order in as soon as possible. Now we're gonna place the tops on our containers. If you are serving immediately, you can just go ahead and eat. If not, please go ahead and refrigerate just so it stays cold and ready for the next day. It's a little messy and this battery is about to die so this is our meal for today we got our salmon our broccoli and our sweet potatoes with a little bit of blanc sauce make sure you guys like subscribe and share hey and order your meal prep items real quick they're going fast so i'll catch you later